So I was uh, lucid again the other night, right? And I've been trying to work into this whole uh, surprise me thing as I shared in my last um, dream sharing video. And I'm kind of just like talking to the dream in general. Plus this dream is a kind of good example of what my typical lucid dreams are like where they're not really all that amazing or awesome or anything. So um, in this dream, when I get lucid, I was in the middle of hanging out with Chris Hensworth of all random people. And it dawns on me I should ask the dream to surprise me. So I ask the dream to surprise me, nothing happens, which is the case like 50-50% of the time it seems. Uh, then, you know, whatever, as I'm hanging out with Chris Hensworth, I'm trying to think of an interesting question to ask the dream character, right? And for some reason, the first thing that popped into my head was to ask him about taking steroids, because I probably watched too many more Play More Dates videos. To which, uh, once I ask him that, he gets all like kind of shy and quiet and doesn't want to talk to me anymore. So uh, I go flying off to explore the dream space. While I was flying, I thought I should try to speak to the dream to, um, you know, go faster and higher instead of just kind of trying to fly faster or angling up. So I asked the dream to increase speed, to which nothing noticeable happened. So I speak it again, and then when I noticed I was flying over like this kind of roadway below me, I noticed the cars and stuff below me are going a lot faster now. So then it dawns on me, oh, instead of saying increase speed, I should say increase my speed which does start to work, although I didn't like rock it off really fast, it was like a small increment, so I had to keep saying it to go faster and faster. Uh, then to go higher up, right, instead of angling up, I just said increase my height, and I started going higher and higher and higher. And with like each increase in height, I would get that nice kind of scary droppy stomach feeling that I like so much. But it wasn't, uh, it wasn't steady and constant, and I wanted more of it. So I was like, oh, you know, instead of flying, I'll pretend like I'm holding on to something. So I reached up over my head, and there was something to grab. And I stopped flying, just kind of tried to hold on to this thing as I was going higher and higher in the air, which made it a lot more exciting and more fun for me. So, you know, I kept saying they increased my height thing while I'm hanging on to this, getting that nice droppy feeling. Eventually, I get, you know, high, like way above the clouds, not into space or anything like that, though. I think, oh, now should be a good time to drop. So I let go. I drop. I get that nice, good dropping feeling, plummet to the ground. Um, and then I land in like this warehouse area, right? And in the warehouse area, there's a lot of interesting looking dream characters. Like I used to work in this drug rehab and mental illness place. So like they kind of look like the people who used to go there a lot. So I figured, oh, these would be good guys to go, you know, talk to and interesting to interact with. So um, as I'm over there, nothing much happens. Later, for some reason, I find myself with like this brain teaser. It was almost more like a, it was like a CIA coded secret document or something. So I'm looking at this thing and I'm trying to figure out what it means and I can't figure it out. So then I said, oh, I should go ask, you know, one of these dream characters to help me, to which they come over and they start really helping me make progress on it. Although uh, we, we didn't actually finish. So as we're doing this, I feel the dream starting to kind of end and I feel myself about to wake up. So I start speaking to the dream to increase vividness and stability, which works. Um, and then after that, I was like, oh, wait, I should ask the dream to surprise me again. So then I speak to the dream to surprise me and I don't notice anything, right? But then all of a sudden I turn around and then one of the dream characters who was in the area and this, you know, where else had a really high ceiling, right? All of a sudden this guy behind me has these super long legs, is like almost up to the ceiling with his head. He's wearing like this super cheap, like tourist kind of hula skirt and he has a crown on his head, which I thought was funny. <laughs> anyway, um, after that, I eventually end up wanting to go fly off to explore the dream space some more. Uh, the where else had like a glass ceiling. So I was just going to try and like bust through it and fly through it. But then I hit it and it's too solid and I can't break through it. So to get past it, I was like, oh, you know, I'll just kind of like lift it up and like take the whole roof off, which worked. And then uh, I go flying. I use the same increase my speed, increase my height thing. Um, you know, the, the general area was, was kind of bland. There wasn't much going on. I ended up seeing like this one place that looks like a prison. But like when I fly towards it, it was like this college track meet thing that was going on so I checked that out for a bit um shit nothing really a note there um then I go flying off again and I find this other like uh facility down below me that looks like it would be good to like blow up it kind of remind me of Just Cause 3 if anybody out there has played that game so I'm like oh man this would be perfect like to shoot but I don't have anything you know on me to blow it up with I didn't go past that I didn't try and you know manifesting some gun in my hand to blow it up I was like ah eh, you know what instead I'll just go really high and drop down again. Then as I'm going up, right, increasing my height, and I actually wasn't, uh, I wasn't speaking to the dream this time, I was just flying up as I normally would. I felt the dream starting to end, so I was like, oh, you know, I gotta drop now before I wake up. So then I go to drop, and then something that can happen a lot is, as you're starting to come out the dream, 
the dropping sensation while I had it, it wasn't as strong like as the first time I did it earlier in the dream, right? So anyway, I drop back out the sky, land on the ground, dream starts to end. I speak to it to increase vividness and stability, which works very temporarily. And then I wake up and that's it.